All right, hi guys. Um, today I'm gonna kind of go and do a cleaning with me video, sped through style. This is actually gonna be a collab with my good friend Terry from Homemaker on the Home Front. I love her. Um, she just recently bought a house and it is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love it. We have the same style as far as decorating and it's just amazing to look at her videos. So I do encourage you to go and watch her video after you're done watching mine and to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. So, we're going to be cleaning bathrooms today. I'm going to be showing you two bathrooms. This first bathroom that you're going to see is our um, guest bathroom that is just right by our kitchen. Um, it's where we use the most often, so it's not really that dirty. I went ahead and cleaned the mirrors with my Method uh, glass cleaner, and then I also went ahead and cleaned the counter and the vanity with that as well. Then I went ahead and took uh, my Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, put that in, and now I'm using just Clorox wipes to clean the toilet. It's so funny because I actually, um, when I was smaller, I hated cleaning toilets. Now that I'm a mom, it's like not even a big deal. I'm touching it without using gloves. It's not, it's not even bothering me. But I just distinctly remember when I was smaller, I did not want to even begin to touch gloves. Even when I first got married, I was so finicky about them. I'm just going through and cleaning the toilet as usual. Like I said, this is not the dirtier uh, the bathroom. The dirtier bathroom is the girls' bathroom, which we'll get to second. So. This bathroom gets cleaned almost every day because we use it so often. I'm just going to go ahead and flush that. I did uh, go ahead and empty the trash after this. I completely forgot to do it on camera. Now I am putting in the Lysol Click It, I think it's what it's called. It's just a scented lavender. Um, for every time the toilet flushes, I'm going to shake out the rug and then go ahead and sweep and mop. I did want to say that normally I go ahead and um, wash the rugs on both bathrooms when I clean them. However, we are actually um, renovating our laundry room right now, so our washer and dryer does not work. So that means that I could not wash them. So normally I would wash them and you will see that it was a little bit dirty, uh, but once our washer and dryer are back in commission, I will go ahead and wash those. This bathroom is clean. Just going to put the rug back and now, you guys, I'm going to show you the horrible mess that is the girls' bathroom. I know, I know, I know. I've been pregnant, and this bathroom, it just, yeah, it, it, it did not get loved at all, so it's pretty bad. Just bear with me. This is real life, real mom stuff, and I'm having real troubles. I went ahead and started with the trash because the trash was the biggest thing. Um, somehow, we misplaced Jalen's craft trash can that's in her room, so she had been using her trash can that was in, um, in her bathroom. So it was basically filled with a lot of cut up paper and glitter, which was awesome. It wasn't anything yucky. Um, I got that. I got the clothes out. And now I am picking up these crafts that I actually uh, tipped over. It was right outside of the bathroom. And uh, when I walked in, I knocked it over. So I'm just picking up as many of those as I can. And the rest of them will sweep up. To be completely honest, they're almost empty anyway. So most of it is trash. I'm going to go ahead and put things away as I see fit. Um, and then I'm going to take all the stuff off of the counter so I can get ready to clean everything. The first thing I'm going to be using once again is the Method Cleaner. I'm just going to be um, putting that all over the mirrors and then I'm going to use a tub and tile cleaner, which I don't think you're technically supposed to use, but I am, to uh, clean the countertop and then also the vanity. I went ahead and sprayed it because, you know, she's six and toothpaste gets everywhere. I am letting the water run hot so that way I can clean the toothpaste and the paint that is on uh, the vanity. Um, and the stopper in the sink doesn't work most of the time, so I have to let it run and get hot and then I'll use it. So I'm going to head and go ahead and clean that off um, and then wipe it down with a paper towel. I can't wait to redo this bathroom because right now I think the colors are atrocious, but it's okay. <laughs> for right now, it will do just fine and it um, works for the girls, or I guess just Jalen, just fine. I'm not going to replace her towel um, because that's actually a brand new towel. I just switched out the towels for the bath, so I didn't need to do that. I mean, right now, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the vanity. Um, I'm also going to wipe down the side because, as you can see, it's a little bit gunky just from tape and glitter and stuff that gets put over there from when she's doing um, craft time. I'm going to wipe down everything that was there. Most of it is just, you know, scum and water and stuff like that from her using it. Put all of her stuff back. Um, and then straighten out her towel and then I'm going to work on the other side. So first I am doing basically the exact same thing, putting things where they need to be. Um, the toys back up in there, they tend to fall since they have a lot and putting all their hair and care products um, back on the side of the tub. 
and then spraying the tub and tile again at the bottom of the toilet and then putting the Lysol cleaner inside of the toilet. This, I do actually wipe the toilet down because it can get pretty gunky so it wasn't that bad to begin with. So I'm cleaning it um, and then wiping it down with the Clorox wipes once again and then trashing those. That I am not cleaning the top of the uh, shower slash tub combo because every time the girls have a bath I actually spray uh, the easy, um, I think it's a shower cleaner that you can just run the shower and then it automatically cleans. So that part is normally clean and then I just normally wipe down pretty routinely. I clean it up after every time I take a bath but just to make sure we didn't miss any spots. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the top of the tub right there and then the bottom part. There's a couple stickers because I don't know why. Put the stuff back, close the curtain, and then we're going to end it with a good sweep and mop. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.